All right, breaking news this morning. This coming in in a connection with that hostage taking at a Texas synagogue uh, last Saturday. A few hours ago, counterterrorism police in the UK arrested two men as part of the ongoing investigation. And it follows the arrest of two British teenagers. So we'll take you live now our, to our uh, London correspondent, Ollie Barrett, standing by with a breaking news update on this story. Ollie. Two more arrests in this investigation by counter-terror police here in the UK. Two men have been arrested. We haven't been given their names or their ages. We're simply told where they were picked up. One was arrested in Manchester, the northern English town, and another in Birmingham, which is a town in the middle of the UK, in the Midlands uh, region. They were, as I say, arrested by counter-terror police, with police just telling us they are currently in custody for questioning. You mentioned those two teenagers previously arrested in connection with this case. Uh, they were arrested in Manchester. They have since been, police say, released without charge. Now, another development in the case is that here in the UK, uh, audio tape has been published which, uh, by the Jewish Chronicle, which appears to be between Malik Faisal Akram, the man uh, involved in this incident at the synagogue, and his brother, in which his brother Gulbar tells him not to hurt what he calls innocent people, tries to talk him into giving himself up and tries to ask him to think of his family. But Akram says he wants to go down as a martyr. There is a lot of anti-Semitism in this recorded tape. He rails against US military action in the Middle East. Going back to the investigation, we know that British authorities are assisting American authorities. We know that there's some concern in America about the fact that this man was previously known to British authorities. Back in 2020, he was designated a subject of interest by the MI5 security agency. By 2021, though, he was designated a former subject of interest. He did have a criminal record in the UK, but as I say, British authorities insisting they are fully cooperating uh, with, their co uh, with their colleagues in America, trying to get to the bottom of exactly whether there was a network in the UK assisting him in some way. Continued developments there in that investigation. Ali Barrett live in London on top of that breaking news. Ali, thank you very much. After the last election, liberty-minded Americans are facing a difficult question. What do we do now? We do have a plan to stop them. This is the only plan that bypasses Biden and Congress to save the republic. Sign the petition at conventionofstates.com.